It's Joel McFadden. Please check out my online courses on soldering and setting princess cut diamonds. The link is in the description below. Enjoy the video. So one of the biggest tools that I use as a jeweler, and I remember I was about 16 years old when I learned about this, is uh, boric acid and alcohol. And what we do is we coat a lot of the things that we solder with this and it, it stops fire scale from building up. So I'm going to show you how to make your own. You need a, a glass jar with a lid. And it's important you have a lid because a tight lid because the alcohol work uh, will evaporate very quickly. Um, this is one that I've been using for a while. It's an old Campbell jar. It's got a really nice lid on it. Um, but you're just going to have to order boric acid. You used to could buy this at CVS or wherever, but now you have to order it. And boric acid, believe it or not, is often used to eliminate bugs in your house. But it's not poisonous. It's a completely stable, just powdered substance. Um, and you want super fine. And you just want to take, and take a spoonful of it, put it in here. Being a powder it can be a little bit messy. And the exact combination that you use is not as critical as you might think. It can be a little thin or it can be a little bit thicker. We actually tend to be a little bit on the thin side. Now this is denatured alcohol and we're just going to add some and there we go. We have a slurry. This is, uh, I usually use a, um, a paintbrush, a little modeler's paintbrush to mix it up. And then we're going to close it. But it's important that you use denatured alcohol and not rubbing alcohol. Unless you live in California where denatured alcohol is now illegal or difficult to get. But rubbing alcohol has some other components in it that actually can mess up your jewelry a little bit. Um, denatured alcohol is the best way to go. So we're going to leave that here. And that's basically how we deal with boric acid. The other thing though is that by nature boric acid builds up and leaves a residue everywhere you go. It leaves a residue here. So just flake it off. So when you need to clean it up you can just flake it off and break it up and you can actually put it back in there or you can throw it away or whatever you need to do. So don't worry about the buildup. Just clean it up every now and then. And wash your hands when you're done so you don't dry them out from the alcohol. 